All right, and we're live. It's classy. Enjoy it's very classy. By taking con so this Enjoy is Catherine, by taking full body, of our the release for PS4. Let's jump Continue. into it, man. Start a new from the beginning of the story. So all those three girls up there, those are all Catherine. Simple nightmare. Actually, I will shut up during the story a little bit because I do want to know. <laughs> Because that's the only. Because I don't. I don't think I like the gameplay. I think I just like the story anyway. Yeah, this is definitely a very story-driven game. Hopefully, I'm not. Uh, you know, talking over the menu, and some people want to hear the menu. <laughs> yeah, they could just kind of deal with that. Because if it's just. A menu. <laughs> I can deal with it. Bodied wine is the best. Oh dear. <laughs> I like her hair. When the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse special feature. Do I see some new faces? Once again, your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine Full Body, the second coming of an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain curse has a terrifying and dramatic week. Oh, does that sound familiar? <laughs> well, like I said, this is Catherine, but with a fuller body. It's aged nicely, with a sensual flavor, not unlike a fine wine. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He is an earnest and kind man. But one day we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. Amidst the storm of temptations around him, he has another chance encounter. And an awfully cute one at that. But doesn't this seem a little... <laughs> convenient? Oh my, sounds like a recipe for disaster. Will Vincent be able to overcome the massive blocks in his life? Perhaps he'll take a road less traveled. <laughs> his outcome... Depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. It's time to savor the marriage of pleasure and pain. Now enjoy the show. Until we meet again. What did you think of her hair? It was uh, funky. Really funky, huh? Yeah, it's one thing I really like about these uh, games by Atlas. So you do the anime style stuff. Yeah, it's like an anime style that I actually like more than others. Yeah. Like a lot more. Yeah. It's fucking loud. Hold on. Lucky. I hate when that happens, man. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh. It's like a woman sitting on your face. Blah. Mm. 
gross, huh? Yeah, I bet he uh, scrubbed his face really hard. I kind of like the, the funky aesthetic yeah. this game kind of has, too. You want to guess who, uh, who voices the main character of this game? Catherine? Who, who voices the main guy, Vincent? It's like the one guy that's like in every video game underneath the sun. David Hayter? <laughs> uh, freaking, uh, Troy Baker. What does he, what else does he do? Oh my god, dude. Like, if you look at any game, like, the last, like, 10, 50 years, dude, he's, like, in the game. Is he, like, an anime voice guy? Kinda. He's a video game guy, but, uh, you know, uh, Persona 4, uh, Kanji? Uh, that's the, the, the punk guy, right? Yeah. The gay guy? Yeah. Yeah, he, oh, he was that. Yeah. That was, a. Uh, they have good voice actors. Yeah, they do. Yeah, my brother just started playing uh, Persona 5 Royal. And I was kind of asking him, like, did you beat the original one? I was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, I did. And I was like, what's different about the Royal? I was like, I don't know. Yeah, okay. It's a cool game to play again, though. Yeah. I, heard I might play it. I, I never... Well, my fucking PS4 wiped, so I never got to yeah. beat it. That happened to me with uh, Persona 4 on my Vita. My data got corrupted after I was like 20 hours in the game, so I quit for like a year and a half. Dude, I think I was like 60 hours in the game or something. Yeah. So I was like uh, about 20, 15, 20 hours in, and my, you know, and it takes forever to get there. Do you have to go through all the freaking dialogue and stuff? Yeah, no. I didn't get. The I don't version. know if you can fast forward in the Golden. You can't. But I didn't get the urge to I didn't get the urge to play it again until I moved to Japan. <laughs> oh shit. Well they just put it out on oh. Steam. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, no, I got to the last boss and I don't or I beat one of the last oh, boss. I think there's place. like maybe one more boss. Hopefully I don't look like a dumbass playing this. Hurry up and climb. Who are you? Where is this place? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die. Are you fucking serious? The ground is collapsing beneath you. Hurry and climb to the top. So they can't complain about us dropping F bombs and stuff because they're cussing in the game too. No, they don't let white boys do it. To make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? Move blocks to make a path, climb one block at a time. How am I supposed to move these things? You can grab onto a block with the X button and move it with the directional buttons. Some blocks can be moved, while others cannot. So be sure to experiment. If you make a mistake moving a block, you can press the L1 button to undo it. All right, all right, I got it. All right, I got it. Edge. All right, I got it. Edge. All right, yeah, all right, I got you it. You kind of get the gist of it, right? I'm just kind of trying to just make it. Oops. Edge. 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 These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean? They connect at the edges. Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. Connecting blocks at their edges to make stairs is the key to successfully scaling the tower. Strive for the goal by creating a path step by step. All right, I got it. Okay. Edge. All right. Edge. All right. Edge. Oh, 
Oh crap, I fucked up. I guess I just fuck up. Man, I have no idea what's going on. I'm glad I'm not playing. <laughs> yeah, you have to like find your way to the top. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I never got this because I knew it would be one of those things of like, oh, I'm going to get on a really hard puzzle, I'm not going to be able to get past it and figure out what happens in the story. If you're stuck, undo. it may be best to try and undo your move. Undo. Undo. Do a couple of them. So this, then... Okay, so we'll pull this one out of this. Yep, that should work. This would have been a good Vita game. Yeah, they were getting it. They are talking about making a Vita game. Oh, no. Okay, I already look like an idiot. Undo. 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 Gotta go back. I fucked up. So. There we go. No! Damn, you gotta be kidding me. Undo. Okay. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Yeah, I just lost. Undo. What the heck, man? Undo. It's only let me undo it to a certain number of steps. Edge. Yeah, Edge. I'm about to lose. Uh. Yeah, I see. Undo. On normal difficulty, you can undo moves if you need to fix a mistake. However, if you've used up all your chances to undo, your next mistake will be fatal. Be careful. I'm gonna have to restart. Because I actually pulled out the wrong one by accident. Like I, I, like I physically cannot beat this portion. I'm like looking at this and I still I can't penetrate it. I'm, I guess it's just uh, too like, dumb. No, like, in my if head you look at the, dude, if you look at this, I cannot. Like I, I have to go to retry. I can't. I have to start from the beginning. If you use retry assist, you'll automatically climb back to where you so. left off. Because I made a mistake. I pulled out a block that I didn't mean to, and I basically got myself stuck there. The setting to turn retry assist on or off can be found in the pause. Retry assist. So this is basically just going to climb it back up to the point I left off at. Alright, I got it. Edge. Edge. Alright, I got it. So, this is where I left off at. So, I need to get up to the top, so we'll pull this one out. Oh, I fucked up again. Are you kidding me? Undo. Undo. Okay. reassuring. Hey, hey, wait a sec! When you hear the bell ring, you'll know that you've almost reached the goal. Refer to the map located on the left side of the screen to see how much further you have to go. I can get 
get out through here? Yeah, I think they were planning on releasing this for Vita. Actually. Maybe I just texted my friend to see if he found my Vita. It'd be very weird if TSA stole it or somebody stole it. It's a good chance, man. Maybe the release is Ooh, like I was sleeping on my backpack. Other than that, maybe it could have slipped out, but. Oh, dude, I was walking my dog the other day. And so I was walking there and all this stuff. And like when I got outside my building, I took off my mask, right? And I started walking, you know, without my mask on, I put it in my pocket. And when I got back to my building, I reached to put my mask back on. I realized that it had fallen out of my pocket. So I walked the whole area where I walked around with my dog to see if I could find it. And I found the mask, but some freaking lady had picked it up and put it on. What the fuck? That's disgusting, right? Dude, yeah, Mike. I've been using this. I've barely been using a mask because, like, people are just stopped now, wearing them, so I stopped wearing them. So uh, my sure my mask, it, like, even even if I haven't really been wearing it, it's still gross. I look forward to it. Still, like, I need to get another mask. Imagine putting somebody's fucking mask on. That's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she didn't... I, after I saw that, I was like, I don't even want to ask her for my mask. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just like, that's disgusting. Jesus. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be like, hey, lady. You're going to fucking get the virus. She probably has it. You're doing shit like that. <sighs> Uh, hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay, I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. I like how they keep the little golden playoff special thing in the top left, like it's a TV channel, like you're watching TV. Hey, oh, yeah. where'd you go? Snap out of no. it! I didn't notice that. Are you even listening? Uh, sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> I just guess there's just gonna be a rotation of hot chicks in this guy's life. <laughs> you would be guessing right. So, are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but. So you don't get anything. <sighs> so typical. Uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like where you're in danger? No. No, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No. I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> I like the hair physics. Yeah, it sounds too. like you. What's that supposed to mean? That's cool. Hey, how many years have we been together? Yeah, like you'll see your huh? hair like fall down. So. Oh man, how long has it been? It's been so long I can't remember. Hmm, how many years? I'm asking you. It's just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? Hey, sweating. 
I suppose. Well, you think he's okay? I don't think that guy's okay, man. I think he's sick. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled Hey, out. change it! The match is off! Go! Oh, two beers over here! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, Feather's though. Totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? You know, what do you think? So? Remember what this not. was like? Come on, I mean, I don't, but... You kidding? Being able to women's wrestling? What do shit? Yeah, this gonna go out. <laughs> Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. That's a lot of smoke for one cigarette. Uh, you so think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides... You're single, too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Oh, how'd the interview go? <laughs> the boss seems like a really nice person. He said I could work here starting tomorrow. So everything's cool with you now? Mm-hmm. Way better. Hey, did old boss make any weird moves? Hey, Rin, come here! Oh. I'll see you later. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah, I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah. The mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit! No way! Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Man, Let's get us thrown you. off. So the F void. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. I knew he pissed the bed. Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I was like, I why is he touching really his bed? Dream, but I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. Yeah, so I've never known that. I don't think I need to hear this. I keep on hearing like everybody's done that, really but I've never scary, known it. Right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? Alright, take care, Vince. See you later. Mm, see ya. She managed to get the job, huh? Of course. I can't just abandon someone with amnesia. Especially when they seem like such a good kid. 
And like Johnny said, there's this innocent cluelessness to Rin that oh, I just can't help caring about. Not to mention the whole stalker thing. Who would do that and why? Sounds like even she doesn't know. Now how could that be? You should find out. Everything okay now? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, I wanted to say thanks. Not just for saving me, but also for finding me a job and a place to stay. I was so scared. I couldn't remember anything. I'm so glad I met someone as nice as you, Vincent. Ah, it was nothing, really. Anyone would have done the same. Still, you saved me, Vincent. I start working here tomorrow, so I'll do my best to show you my appreciation. Receive texts at the bar. You can respond to some of them. Give it a try. <sighs> okay, so it says, like I said before, I'm having dinner with some old friends. It's surprising, most of them are already married, and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing off pictures of their families, and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone, too. Mm -hmm. Wish I reply. <laughs> you can just type in whatever. Okay, that's like. What do you think? Um. I'd probably go with that one. Does it bother you? Yeah. Okay. I worry about it too sometimes. We should work at our own pace. I worry about it too sometimes. Okay, what now? Um, yeah, that one probably. Say it, man. Read it. Maybe we should talk about this. There you go. See, you didn't read in fun. You sound like you're hooked on phonics. It's hard, dude. <laughs> The little thing you saw right there oh, is okay, there's meter that. Meter. Let's change Vincent's inner ideas. A meter will be shown. Oh, okay. I thought that was a relationship meter or something. It kind of is. Basically, each decision you make in the game, and kind of because you can choose like your own path in a way, and based off which path you choose, will basically affect where that arrow goes. So there's obviously a what they consider the good path and what they consider the unfaithful or bad path. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. So I'm assuming based off of our decisions, it'll affect how the story plays out for the most part. I mean, for the yeah. most part, it'll be the same. But it's going to affect certain things. Hey, dude, look up there in the top right. Do you see Teddy? No, that means uh, something, right? No, no, look at the top above the bar. Teddy, he's on the right. Oh, I thought you were talking about the uh, watermark. I couldn't hear you. Yeah, on the top right, man, there's Teddy, there's I the cat. I can kind of see. There's the top of Teddy, you can see the cat from uh, Persona 5, right next to him to the left. Morgan. Morgana. Yeah. I just noticed that just now. Hey. So, okay, I want this. Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. Ugh, bringing up her parents out of the blue? It's not like her. You got a mail. <laughs> Are you drinking at the stray sheep again? You know you have work tomorrow. Jeez, take it easy, okay? By the way, I received a photo that was taken at the party they went to after the wedding the other day. It's of me being forced to entertain the crowd, but it does bring back some old memories. And this is the image. Ooh, what a cootie. What do you think, Nick? Eh. Eh. She's a bitch. She's a bitch. I mean, obviously you're going to have other options, all right? Yeah, but I mean, she's your girlfriend, man. You can't just do that to your girlfriend. 
I don't really know what's going on with the story yet. If you're just, uh, right, isn't she like kind of mean? Uh, I haven't gotten that far in the game. I only really played for like an hour, so. Alrighty. Hell yeah. <laughs> How nostalgic. Alright, which one you want to go with? Read it out to me, man. Oh, let's see. Time really flies, huh? That's what I would have went with too, yeah. Okay. It's definitely not emotional. Well, take care of yourself. See ya. I don't know, which one you think sounds better? <laughs> Just do see ya. Yeah. Because take care of yourself is almost like, hey, I'll see you uh, next year. What if that's like the one that changes the ending? Yeah. What was... What was the bad choice there? <laughs> I feel like going home today. Uh, probably if you like blew off what she was saying. Oh, my phone. It's Catherine. Hello, Vincent. It's me. Yeah, what's up? I wanted to apologize for cutting our meeting short this morning. I don't mind. You had to meet with a friend, right? It was a woman, just so you know. I think you knew her in high school. <laughs> it's okay. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. You have to go to work early tomorrow, right? Don't stay up too late. Good night. I'm trying to micromanage me, you hear that? Ah, uh, it's late. Would you like to save your progress? Would I ever? Wouldn't it be cool if they made a game like every year or every two years? Yeah, it plays out like this, like a TV show format, like this. It this can't be that hard to make. Well, I mean, once you already have all the assets for the most part, it makes it a lot easier, a lot quicker. I mean, to make it. Which is probably why they keep on making like rehashed Persona stuff. Oh, this part's important. Here. Wow, he looks so cool with his sunglasses. He's wearing sunglasses indoors. Get it straight, sheep. Yeah, I was wondering if you're gonna recognize that. So, you've met some new faces. That poor lost soul is particularly intriguing. You'll so you see these names here. Many I believe those are other players that played through this part. <laughs> uh. Recently, or. No. Oh no. One thousand deaths tonight. Where am I? Last night's dream? Again? What the hell? I was at the bar and this girl came in and then... Damn, I can't remember. What's going on? Alrighty. Alright. You the new guy from last night? Voice. You're that guy from yesterday. Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks. They'll break after you step on them. Really? Many blocks have unique characteristics, such as cracked blocks and immovable blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. Edge. So basically with the cracked blocks, they can step on like twice before they break. Alright, I got it. You gotta like plan your moves. Yeah. Alright, I got it. You see those little if you see the little floating blue things right there, like where it has the player's name, that's where somebody died. 
Yeah, I figured that's what that was. That's pretty cool. Alright, I got it. You know you can hang from blocks, right? It's a if you can't find a clear path to walk, try looking for a new you'll drop down to the edge whenever you run out of footing while dragging a block. By crawling along those edges, you may be able to reach areas that couldn't be accessed on foot. Edge. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. I see you're still alive and kicking. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. Even without dragging a block, you can easily hang down by running. This technique is vital to your success. Be Very sure fine. to get comfortable. Do you think you kind of get how the gameplay plays out? Yeah, a little bit. Finding and picking up a mystic pillow will grant you an additional undo until you reach the goal. Gather as many as you can. So if you get the pillow, you could do one more of those little undo things I did earlier. All right, I got ah. it. back and undo Controllers are screwing me up. Big time. <laughs> the controller. No, the controls. This is why, man. It looks it looks funner than I thought it would be, but I just know there's gonna be like one level is gonna be way too hard. So no, it's this is actually easy. I just I need to get back into my mojo. Okay? Yeah, I know this is easy, but I know like later on, like it'd be a, this is probably a really annoying level. <laughs> this is exactly where I left off. Well, okay. Fucking edge. edge. They could have like recorded a few more. Edge. Yeah. What the fuck? Edge. You can hear that the whole game? Pretty much. Okay, got it. If you suck, it may be best to try and undo it. Hey man, I ain't stuck. You've come pretty far. Good job. I'll see you at the landing. Everybody else is there too. So that's another thing too is that if you break the blocks, those those brown ones will fall. And he didn't say that. And if I knew that, I would have made this a lot easier earlier. Who is also, everyone? I'm just stupid. Hey, hey, wait a sec. Once you have crossed a checkpoint, you can retry from that spot. Cool. Be sure to run through it whenever you see one. Edge. Oh, whoops. Undo. Dang it. 
didn't mean to do that. Edge. Undo. Edge. I'm supposed to... Oh, really? Edge. Edge. Undo. Okay. Oh, okay, I got it. Got it. Are you having some trouble? Remember, you can right. always go back and undo some of the first I made it! Here I go! <laughs> yeah, there's also some advanced techniques that you can do too that make it a lot easier. Like some pretty cool ones. Hopefully I'll remember them the further we play through. I wanna try it. Not bad. Yeah, I think you can get this game on sale for 20 bucks right now. Uh, I'll just wait. It might be on uh, PC soon. Or some one day. Looks like you survived. Yeah, knowing my luck, as soon as you, like, knowing your luck, as soon as you buy it, sheep? it's gonna be free on PlayStation like Plus. You're the sheep. Yup. I need to check that, too. Recognize that voice? Who are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing's for certain, though. If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way out. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Just quit with all the dying stuff. I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, no, no. No, no, wait. You hurry too. So hey, hey! Can't be serious. So basically, at the beginning, and talk oh, with other sheep on the landings. So you could talk to all these other sheep people here, and you can save here. But anyways, what he was saying at the beginning is when he walked up, it's like, "Oh, you're a sheep." He's like, "You're a sheep too." Everybody here's a sheep. So basically, if you look at my guy, he's got the horns on his head. I don't know if you noticed that, Nick. Yeah, yeah. So he's got the horns on his head. So basically. To us, he looks like a normal, he looks like himself, but with like, you know, the little horns on it. But to everybody else in here, he looks just like the sheep. Okay. Yeah. So. Go on, talk to them. When the icon is pink, you can talk to them. It grays out once they have nothing more to say. Basically said, if you get in his way, he's gonna push you off and kill you. I'll have to use that next time. We're discussing techniques. They're the key to survival. You want me to teach you the technique I found? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Remember, this is Todd's technique. Allow me to explain the pyramid. Okay, that'd be good to remember. Kind of see what they're saying with like advanced techniques. Yeah, I'll be I'll be right back. Okay. Pull out the same number of blocks as the number of steps you mean to climb up. You'll have the support you need to reach higher and higher, like a pyramid. What do you think? Nice. Uh, very mm, nice. I think that might be tough by itself. Consider using this one too. Allow me to explain. The slider. Pull out two blocks vertically, then slide the bottom one over. 
remember this basic action, which utilizes the properties of edges. Since edges connect, you can make a stairway, even in tight spots. Oh, you're a genius. How was that? Bet you didn't know. I know. Uh, yeah, I did. Anyway, what I want to say is this. If you're relying on luck to keep you alive, it's all over. I know. My reporter's instincts are telling me this dangerous form of free climbing has some techniques hidden within it. There are many techniques to discover. I guess the key is to find as many as we can. All right. If you find anything, you tell me, okay? That's an order. Ah, ah, I don't want to die! Just calm down. Are you saying that to try to bring my guard down? I'm not falling for that. Everyone's just out to save themselves. Some asshole pushed me too. Next time, I'm gonna start shoving or I'll die. Everyone's just out to save themselves. Everyone dies eventually. Dying sooner at least saves you some pain, right? However, to be concerned about someone other than yourself, given our present circumstances, I'm going to reward you with an oil field. An nice. oil field? Ah, my usual habit. I think that's good for this part of uh, episode one. Anything you want to add, Nick, before, uh, before I end it? Okay. Uh, those wise words from Nicky Nick. Um, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Don't be afraid to be harsh. Just leave a comment. Harshest comment you can leave is fine too. Nice comments are really also welcome. And yeah. Cool. Mostly harsh though. Yeah. Make it make it harshly critically critically harsh. I wanna I wanna feel a crit. 